Hello. I just got back from Kenya, that country where men are men and women have wide open faces. Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief. Find that rosy life's no paler, even if they make it brief. And it's hardly controversial. In all professions, bad men lead. Even in a life commercial, good men are not the men they need. A good man, no good to anyone. He's like champagne gone flat. Who wants a husband, a lover, or a brother who means quite well and is topping to his mother? There's the man who thinks that life is long and doesn't want it shorter. He doesn't gamble, drink, or smoke. He doesn't think he ought to. You also know it's safe to introduce him to your daughter. Well, who wants a man like that? A good man makes the grey clouds greyer. He's a dullard and he's a bore. But everyone around is gayer. When the bad man holds the floor, all the band of passion shirkers have a shiny, stupid face. Even good girls like those quicker workers who've fallen from a life of grace. A good man, no good to anyone. He's like champagne gone flat. Who wants a husband, a lover, or a brother? Means quite well and is topping to his mother that the chap who knows the verb to love in all its best declension. So marriage is the only thing this fellow ever mentions. And even when he's kissing you, he's honourable intention. <laughs> who wants a man like that? There's the man who says, "Sit out, this dance. Let's talk. I just adore it." And tells you his life story, and you realise that you're for it when he proudly boasts his innocence and thinks you'll like him for it. <laughs> Who wants a man like that? There's the bloke who could do lots of things, but somehow thinks he couldn't. So never says or does to you a single thing he shouldn't. And behaves quite like a gentleman just when you wish he wouldn't. Who wants a fellow of that type? There's the man who takes you golfing. He approaches well and putts too, then drives you back to your own flat, like all the crazy mucks do. And he'd like to do a lot of things, but hasn't got the guts to. <laughs> Who wants a card like that? A good man, no good to anyone. He's like champagne gone flat. Who wants a husband, a lover, or a brother? Who means quite well and is talking to his mother. There's the man you get alone with, and you hope there'll be some rockets. You vamp him till his eyes are simply leaping from their sockets. Still, the silly blighter keeps his hands inside his pockets. Well, who wants a man like that? No, you don't want a man like that, or like any of them. You want a man like me, a man who really is a man. All letters should be addressed care parlour and not personal, but not too personal. Bye. <laughs> Say, Mr. Franco, have you heard this one? She was only a woodcutter's daughter, but <laughs> shh, let's keep the party clean. Don't give way to the old temptation of treating simple virtue with a sneer. Don't put the worst interpretation on everything you see or hear. Come around and visit me. Yes, please do. But don't think everybody is as bad as you. Watch out for those wicked thoughts. And let's keep the party clean. Cover up that cynical grin. Forget you've ever heard about original sin. That fellow and the girl there who are having such a gay time, very likely only see each other in the daytime. So wash out those wicked thoughts. Let's keep the party clean. Don't be deafened and don't be blinded to the fact of virtue's subtle allure. Some folks still are very nice minded. The pure, all things are pure. Glad to see you any time. Yes, most glad. But don't imagine everyone who's here is bad. Wash out. Those wicked souls, and let's keep the party clean. Cover up that cynical grin. Forget you've ever heard about original sin. The girl who says, "Do see my flat. I'm glad I've got to know you." There's probably some furniture she rather wants to show you. So wash out those wicked souls, and let's keep the party clean. That girl who has new views on love in shocking little speeches. Very likely doesn't practice anything she preaches. So wash out those wicked thoughts. That wife who looks so naughty that you'd like to know her better. Maybe thinks a correspondent is a chap who writes a letter. So wash out those wicked thoughts. That story that you long to tell because you think it's recent has got two little words in it. 
both of them indecent, to wash out those wicked souls, those two who aren't behaving as a sister and a brother, a very likely married, and perhaps to one another, so wash out those wicked souls. Don't take that man's advice to be quite blunt beyond all measure. You'll find that you'll get far more snubs than any hope for pleasure. So wash out those wicked thoughts. That fellow who is telling tales with gesture to that matches is possibly just boasting of the size of fish he catches. So wash out those wicked thoughts. And let's keep the party clean. Cover up that cynical grin. Forget you've ever heard about original sin. That girl in the pajamas who seems rather fond of bending Maybe doesn't know they're torn or where they want some mending So wash out those wicked thoughts And let's keep the party clean Now I do hope that what I've said won't go like water over a duck's back Like water over a duck's back In one ear and out the other (laughs) 